This is a cup. It is a common noun because as it does not refer to any particular thing. This is a biscuit. It is also a common noun because as it does not refer to any particular thing. This is a toy. It is also a common noun because as it does not refer to any particular thing. Now we will learn about proper noun. The name of any specific place are called proper noun for example this is the picture of char minar it is a proper noun because it is the name of any specific place this is the picture of lotus temple it is also a proper noun because it is the name of any specific place It is the picture of golden temple. It is also a proper noun because it is the name of any specific place. Now we will learn about material noun. The things that are made from gold, copper, silver, etc. are called material noun. For example, this is a bangle of gold and it is a material noun because gold is a metal. This is a the copper. silver coin it is also a material noun because he, he, here silver is metal this is also a silver ring because here here the silver is a metal now we will learn about collective noun the things that are in a collections are called collective noun for example This is the basket of potatoes. It is a collective noun because here potatoes are in a collection. This is a box of matchsticks. It is a collective noun because here the matchsticks are in a collection. This is a bouquet of flowers. It is a collective noun because it is the collection of flowers. Now we will learn about abstract noun. The things that that cannot be touched or smell are called abstract noun. For example, in this picture, children give their exam honestly, and the honest is for abstract noun, and because it cannot be touched or smell. This is a picture of children who are laughing and laughing is for happiness and happiness is for abstract noun because it cannot be touched or smelled. This is the picture of a girl who is crying and crying is for sadness and sadness is for abstract noun and because it cannot be touched or smelled. Thank you for listening me. Hello everyone. My school name is Mona Modern English Medium School, Sarangar. Today my topic is House of Noun. Definition of noun: The noun is a name of person, place, animal, things, or ideas. Let's start with proper noun. This is a picture of Redford. Redford is a proper noun because it is a name of a specific place. This is a picture of Lotus Temple. Lotus Temple is a proper noun because it is a name of specific place. Next, my name is Kusi and Kusi is a proper noun as it is a name of specific person. Next, continue with proper common noun. This is a cup and cup is a common noun because it is not a name of specific thing. This is a bottle and bottle is a common noun because it is not a name of specific thing. This is a pillow. It is a common noun because it is not a name of specific thing. Next collective noun This is a bunch of keys and it is a collective noun 
because it is a collection of keys. This is a bouquet of flowers. It is a collective noun as it is a collection of flowers. Next, material noun. This is a gold bangle. Gold is a material noun because it is a name of material. This is a steel glass. Steel is a material noun as it is a name of material. This is a silver coin because it this is a silver coin because it is a material noun so it is material noun. Next, abstract noun. Here this is written intelligence and intelligence is an abstract noun as we cannot touch it. Here it is written honesty. Honesty is an abstract noun because we cannot touch it. Here it is written beauty. Beauty is an abstract noun because we cannot touch it. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Sudhi Singh Thakur. I study in class 8 and today my topic is on noun. A word that is the name of a thing of a person or a place is called noun. There are five types of noun. Proper noun, common noun, material noun, abstract noun, correct. Proper noun. A proper noun is a noun that identifies a single identity. For example, India is our motherland. India is proper noun because India is the name of a specific country. Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower is in Paris. Eiffel Tower is a proper noun because it is a specific name, a specific name of a tower. Common noun. A common noun is not a specific place, person or thing. For example, knife is sharp. Knife Knife is a common noun because it is not a name of a specific thing. I want this toy. A um, toy is common noun because it is not a name of a specific thing. Oreo biscuit is my favorite. Biscuit is common noun because it is not a name of a specific thing. Material noun. Material noun is a grammar term that refers to a material or substance from which things are made. For example, cotton is soft. Cotton is material noun as it is a thing. I have a beautiful gold jewelry. Gold jewelry is a material noun as it is a thing. Glass is a transparent. Glass is material noun as it is a thing. Abstract noun. A noun that denotes immaterial or abstract. For example, the he displays great bravery in the defense of me. Bravery is abstract noun. Because it is not a physical extent, we got freedom in 15 August 1947. Freedom is abstract noun as it is a feeling. Collective noun. A collective noun is a group of a people or thing. For example, a veil of a cotton. Veil of a cotton is collective noun as it is a group of thing. A bunch of keys. Bunch of keys is a collective noun as it is a group of a thing. Everyone, this is me, the Nishame, a student of class 8 from Mona Modern English Middle School Standard. Today's my topic is noun. So, so let's see the definition of noun. Noun is a naming word and noun's thing is an idea or emotions also noun. 
So let there are types of nouns. Let's see example one by one. So first example is collecting nouns. This is a bucket of tomato. And this is a common uh, collective noun. This is a bowl of uh, rice. And this is a collective noun. And this is a spoon. And this is a bunch of spoon. And bunch of spoon is a collective noun. This is a bunch of flour. And bunch of flour is a collective noun. So let's take another example. So let's take the another, another example of material noun. This is a banner of gold and gold is a material noun. This is a salt and salt is a material noun. This is tea leaf and tea leaf is a material noun. So let's take another example of Proper noun. This this is a picture of Taj Mahal. This is the name of a special monument of the world. This is a baby and baby is a human and this is a proper noun. This is a flower and flower is a proper noun. So let's take a, another example of my of. So let's take another example of common noun. This is knife. This is a bottle. This is a plastic bottle. And this is a biscuit. These all are a collective of common noun. This is an emoji of envy. This is an emoji of happiness. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for listening.